Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. How are you guys doing today? So today we're gonna get right back at him on that trailer build. Gary's gonna make some more lids for the couch area that we didn't get to finish last time. I did get all the wood when I went out and about with my dad. So um, now that we have all of that, he can finish that project. And I think today he's gonna start working on that corner hutch. Yep, I'm gonna get that corner hutch going and hopefully I can start working on everything else from there. Yep. So. Come along with us today. We're going to get some of the tedious stuff out of the way, or at least I'm going to with painting and whatnot, and Gary's going to work on some more furniture. We're going to get this build rocking and rolling. Yep, yep. Let's do it. You got all your cuts made, huh? I do. Finish off this little area. I'm still waiting on my pistons. I'm still waiting on my hinges. But... I've got all the pieces cut out and ready. So I'll be able to have my outdoor cupboard and cabinet area and we'll have all our doors. Yay, I got the door. The door. <laughs> yep. Alright, so the actual bones structure of our couch is done. Basically what this is going to be, you'll lift it up and you'll have those drawers right underneath it that you'll be able to access. We're still waiting on our pistons, so everything is still loose. But you'll lift this up and you'll get to these drawers. And then over yonder, we're going to actually build even another one right here which I'm gonna make a hole so I can grab it oh it's I gotta trim it down a little but yep you'll be able to get in there for the little drawer that we built we're gonna build like a little bucket mm -hmm. in there so I gotta trim that guy yeah it's a little tight but and then you gotta put a little Fing hole in finger it. hole too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do all those fine little touches when I get the the hinges and everything, and then I'll be like, all right, so yeah, all set, squared away. Got the bone structure done, so to where I can work with couches, as well as I can work on this little nook area. Yep. So now we'll actually be able to sit comfortably while we're uh, working. This is true. We've got this little bit of a gap back here. Yeah. That we gotta fill in. Yep. We got this gap. And there's a little gap right here that we gotta fill in. But other than that, 
we should be okay. And we have this huge piece right here of foam that we are going to cut from this bottom because we don't want it this tall first off because then it's kind of in the way of the window. And then also this is just a really big long piece of foam that we could use. And so... And we'll put that guy over yonder on the other side or we can even just use this as extra cushion foam yeah for like portions. for filling in the little gap you know and then for the back wall right here so we should have enough foam to get the job done and then we're gonna have to make covers for everything but it's coming along we should have enough to do it yes i can sit down now i know me and too i'm not gonna fall in the hole i know <sighs> wow that is that's nice that is that is nice I'm not gonna lie. My full butt is on there. Mm -hmm. Through my knees. Oh, this is perfect though. It is, it's a lot of space in here now. And we still have all this, I know it doesn't maybe look like a lot on the camera, but it really is. It actually, hold on, let me focus it. All this space actually is quite a bit of space, guys. We never had this before. And for us to be able to have this much seating, which is an entire bed, a little chase lounge area, plus this part of the couch, and then all this little walking space so nobody has to play Ring Around the Rosie, it's it's really honestly game changing for the back end of this trailer. So It definitely makes it a lot more open. Oh yeah. It is definitely a game changer. I like it. Me too. So what's up next is going to be, I guess, Gary, you're going to start working on that corner piece. Yep. I want to get this area squared away so that way I can have you paint, caulk, whatever you need to do over here while I keep working over that way. Okay. Working from one end all the way up to the next. I know. Make it more livable. I got all of the little hinges and stuff painted, so I'm going to keep working <laughs> on that and then um, I'll probably come in here, like you said, do some paint, do some caulking. And... uh Keep on going. Keep I want to go check forward. out that uh, outdoor cubby, though. Yeah. That just finished off and made. Let's go see it. Let's go look at it. All right, so let's see your cubby. This is the outdoor cubby. Sorry it's so windy today, guys. It is what it is. Hey. Look at that. That gives me quite a bit of space in here. It does. It's a pretty good cubby. You could fit a lot of your little outside tools in that. So I just want to show you guys what the hardware for the cabinets and stuff looked like before I'm going to go ahead and pretty them up. It has like a piece of ivory slash pearl colored um, like glass kind of right there. And then it's got this really old like gold on it. And it's kind of chipped and it doesn't really look that great. It's all like scratched and rusted. So I definitely don't like the look of this, but new hardware is kind of pricey. I could easily spend $100 on just hardware for the trailer. So instead of doing that, I spent about $6 on a can of paint and I'm hoping for the best. So let's see how I can uh, work my magic and see if I can get something nice out of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this Rust-Oleum semi-gloss um, protective enamel. It is in the doo -doo -doo, uh, andonized bronze color. So it should look kind of like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give these hardware pieces a little bit of loving, a little bit of updating, and that way I can still reuse the same pieces of hardware for the cabinets, but it won't look so old-fashioned. So here goes nothing. Coming out the way you want it. Yeah, it's kind of like a grayish sort of. It'll look good. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll flip it over and do uh, the other sides and stuff. It should dry pretty quick. I bet you it's gonna look a thousand times better than the gold.
So I'm gonna let those dry now and I'll flip them over and do the bottoms here in a little bit, but that's it for now. On to the next stuff. These were from inside the trailer. They're kind of like um, the air conditioner covers and stuff. And since the walls are all gonna be white, I wanna paint these white as well so it'll all just kind of match. I got some other spray paint. This is the Rust-Oleum two times cover paint and primer and it's in semi-gloss white. So I'm just gonna give it a try and see what happens. All right, it's pretty clean. All right, so those are done. I'm gonna let those dry and uh, see what it looks like here in a little bit.
Alrighty, you guys, so that's all we've got for you today. Um, we've got a lot done, a lot of tedious little things. I got the corner nook thing done for our entertainment center for our little living area over here. It's really nice. Um, really looking forward to getting that all squared away. We still got a lot of tedious things to do left. It's all tedious. A lot more caulking, a lot more sanding, a lot more painting, a lot more uh, just all of that <laughs> over yeah. and over and over again so it's uh it's it's been coming along really well i'm really happy with uh the way that mel painted the handles and the hinges and everything for all our um drawers and cabinets and whatnot so i'm really liking how it's look uh looking and turning out and way better than the that. gold yeah you know, i can't wait better. to get onto these couches and actually cut all the cushions and everything and get this all squared away but one thing at a time I'm not worrying about this right now I want to get all the build done 
before I start worrying about the cushions and everything. So. so for the couch area, what we still have to do is we're waiting on a delivery for the gas powered um, pistons. Pistons, yeah. So we're waiting for a delivery for that. We should get that sometime early next week. Um, inside this one, Gary still has to build out like the little cubby hole. So that way um, our stuff is not sitting on the water heater. It would be sitting inside the cubby hole. So we still got to do that. We got to need to get the pistons going. And then I got to do some paint and some decor for these. Caulking them in, sanding them in. Again, it's a lot of like the caulking and the sanding and the painting. That's a lot of work. It's very time consuming, but it's got to get done to complete the look as well as the functionality of it. So no. Um, we're going to get a lot of stuff done this weekend with any luck. We have a lot on our list, so we're going to continue to knock it out. You guys should see a pretty good productive video come Monday. Um, but we, I feel like we did a lot today. We kicked butt. We kicked butt. We yep. did quite a bit. I mean, honestly, this whole area right here is coming together yeah. really nicely. It's a lot of little things too. So maybe, I don't know what it looks like on video, but for us, like I know that we kicked butt. So yes. I'm happy. Yes. Good job. Good, Good job. job. Hey. All right. So we hope you guys had a great day. We're going to work our butt off this weekend and we'll see you guys on Monday. So until then, we'll guys hope you guys have a good one. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye later, guys. Later. Mel just ripped her pants again. <laughs> <laughs> These pants have freaking had it, dude. I got a hole in the knee and a hole in the other knee. You got a hole in my butt, and I'm not going to show you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did it, babe. I know. It looks really great. I really like it. A lot of the little details, it's all coming together. Yep, yep. That's nice. Thank you, babe. I really like that corner. That corner looks super cool. It's gonna be so nice. It's all coming together. Little by little. Show sure is.